because uh, we'll be playing this one, another title that is uh, very much so in uh, <coughs> but damn it. In early access, which is really something I'm not really a fan of. Hmm. But I did hear about it in passing through uh, my tech boy when I was like, you know what? That sounds interesting enough. So, um, the plan is for today is actually a bit different than what we would normally do. I think we'll start this, we'll see how it goes. How much it uh, interests us. A little bit. And uh, once we're done, done and over with, we'll probably either play this for the whole duration, or alternatively, which is also an option, we'll uh, go and play some good old fashioned. What's that sounds great? And it depends. So at least we have uh, two options available to us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's okay. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Interesting. No, yeah, but that something has happened. Ah, the lizzy wall. I decided to follow. Well, thank you very much. That is very nice of you. I appreciate it and welcome aboard indeed. I still need to choose between these uh, uh, horribly nice looking uh, portraits. <laughs> I do like this one. This seems like it could be fun to play around with. Creating a coat of arms. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, I don't really think it's gonna make much difference there. That uh, looks almost like what we saw in Venice the last day. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna take this. We're gonna go like, uh, like this, and then, okay, uh, what can we do? Oh, we can split it different ways. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit overkill. You know what? Maybe starting with something uh, <clears throat> simple is uh, is good. Good enough for the beginning. Okay, let's say uh, black. Then the gold looks nice. And uh, simple. So, we get a cross, a furry, lion thingy. A uh, fish creature. <laughs> yeah, a blue fish creature. <laughs> that looks rather fitting, doesn't it? There is one way or another. Wait for a second. Hold on, hold on. See? Yeah. Each everything seems to be working. I could start indeed. Fading with angle. Oh. That's cute. Make sure that my fish monster can be seen in all of its glory. Mine we'll see here. Scenario templates. More coming soon. That's always a good start. Let's see what do we have. On the edge. Grow your city and resources which you scan. Press up raiders and undefended settlements will quickly perish. Yeah, that sounds like I will be dead in. As short as time as I can be, and I would, uh, for some reason, rather like to avoid it because I have no idea how to uh, play this uh, pretty, uh, precise game. Ah, excuse me. Uh, what to say? I have to sneeze, but Andy, my nose was not the. It wasn't getting there. Restore the peace. Uh, no territories to in the north are claimed by the. A legitimate baron whose castle is located off the map. Okay. Uh, when it comes to residing the other unclaimed regions. Person expand at your own pace when ready, challenge the baron for the northern territories. Victory conditions conquer every region. Okay. 
And then we have Rise to Prosperity. Fulfill the requirements of your citizens, plan and rule your medieval town as you see fit without worrying about combat. Reach the large town settlement level. After that, you may choose to continue in the endless mode. Uh, I guess this is basically the standard. What's that? Ah, that, those are those are presets for the um, difficulty. Let's go around and play with this a little bit. Domination, conquest, claim all regions, none. Endless play. <laughs> just aside from the very good goal. I have no goal. I have no stake in this. I'm just gonna play forever. Fuck you. <laughs> now the problem is since I actually don't know. Uh hey, open it's okay. Of map adversary. Present. It's an another uh, okay. region brings the soldiers to the main game map when challenged. Okay. Uh I love my press a claim towards the place regions after they run out of neutral regions to claim. Aggressive, <laughs> reactive, hey, about some of them, so it's very but they will protect their own. Okay. I'm kind of confused by this whole um, off map thing, basically. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah sure. But how, how does this work in game then? Is this, does this just mean that random armies will spawn and uh, annihilate me? Most brutally. If we go for relaxing, let's see. Uh, reactive, present, domination, and million other not, king of territory, uh, no raiders. Hmm. One and raiders sounds like the sort of thing I really don't want to have in my uh, in my town. On the other side of the argument, it also sounds like a, a relatively useful little mechanic to play around with, so. Okay, so let's hear. Your present, your reactive. Reactive just means you're gonna react. Okay. Raiders. No more than a single raider every two years. Raider three years. Two years before raiders start happening. Three years. One year. Okay, let's take three years because I still need to learn the game. Uh, initial uh, camps none. That sounds good. Remember the camp spawn limit. No random camp spawn thing during play. Stop spawning if there are already three of them. Okay, that sounds like it's also a mechanic. Our starting season. Time to start farming early, but frequent rains. Okay. Good. More starting supplies for more relaxed experience. Claim that sounds good. A moment delivery. Free weapon delivery from Risha as soon as the player builds a storehouse and five residential plots. Hmm. I don't know if this is a standard setting, but it just sounds like something I would want to have. Considering that, you know, bandits and shit are around. Now, there's we have. German Street and loss of approval are shifted by London level to be less the meaning. What's the other options? Banat Stone will not grow, requirements are unfilled. German Street and loss of approval are shifted by London level more than any meaning. Uh, balanced. Yeah, uh, it does have low impact on population growth. I have an average. I let's take an average one. Yeah, uh, well placement. Uh, family river without constraints. Underground water. It that, that sounds reasonable that you could only place a well where there's actually a uh, you know water. That's <laughs> why symbol is kind of pointless. <laughs> Like, hmm, yes, let's randomly place a well in nowhere land, uh, middle of the desert, and uh, magically get water out of it. For sure. Ah, was I wins? Was this cosmetic only and won't do any harm? Balance. Place get a warning, place gets soaked, and when the next rain comes, they may get destroyed. Chance of random droughts in the summer, make your crops, rare fires caused by sunless strikes. Yeah. I think actually, if we set everything onto a uh, medium, and we'll see everything and probably die horribly to it. But, uh, you know. <clears throat> What's the worst that can happen? He said. And then he died. Okay. The only thing I remember is this. 
<laughs> There's a reason why I looked into the controls in the first place, so that I didn't know how to pause the game. And if I can, I do it. <clears throat> now then, let's take a look what we have here. The sign, the sign, okay, living space, population. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Approval, big order, 12, livestock. Mm, I have one auction. Cute. Uh, number of oh, that's nice. Now we name that. Ooh, that's our tech tree here. Look at that. That's kind of cute. Beekeeping. Mm. How the fuck shall I name this particular town? Mm. Oh, you see, it's a whole reason. I mean, you know, not not to pay, not to not to point at the particular picture that I try to involve you, but I think the people should give up any hope they ever had. And just accept that they will probably die. Twenty song surplus goods. Forty good stores. Okay. So construction is for building shit, food is obvious. Fuel. Okay, yeah, fuel is rather important. After all, there is winter in this game, and winter usually means people freeze. Uh, crafting materials, uh, the usual grain. Grains you need to make floor, floor you need to make. Uh, uh, where is it? Food, food, food. Bread. Crafting materials else. Heights, of course. Heights can be made into leather. Um, consumables or something? Commodities, clothes, as that is. I was about to say, one of the main reasons why you would uh, deal with leather is to make clothing, of course. And let's take a look around. Ooh, all right, there is. This is basically the world map. A lot of regions here and shit. Hmm. Okay. What the symbols mean? Clay, iron. Okay, that seems good. Wild animals. That's not so good. And berries. Seasonal. Okay, so I can collect probably berries. And then how do I. Uh. <laughs> well, do that. Okay, so let's see. Where's my... There's my little... Little village. Can I somewhat see what my people... Want... Have. So we have some supplies. More supplies. That's a hitching post. Where's one save? I don't know if I'm not going to switch speeds up logistics. Okay, so these are the guys responsible for... Doing shit. Homeless people stands, okay. I can tell the... Uh, to start off with, probably getting some homes would be uh, a good idea. Homes and foods. Oh yeah, uh, that that also would be rather nice, to have some... Uh, some more wood. Okay, so... Uh, how are we gonna do this? I kinda... I'm not too sure if this is gonna affect us. If I start logging all the things here, will the, the, the uh, animals disappear or something? I don't know, but I'm not gonna uh, wanting to find out, so I'd say that we make a little road here. And then we go like uh Bobby Camp. Woodcutter's Lodge. Uh workers fell trees to produce firewood. Will there be enough trees for both of them, I wonder? Bob it transforms timber to planks. That sounds something we need later because uh, construction cost for the, the standard building seems to just be you know the timber and no planks but that's maybe for more advanced buildings so let's ignore that uh workers plan oh yeah that that sounds yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I, I very much like to have somebody plant new trees because otherwise we don't we won't have that for very much longer and firewood yeah sure let's plan that Okay, and then we have the hunting and the berry people. Uh, so we can take a little road thing. Ooh. This. 
and you are the hunter, so I'm gonna... Level up setting the cross migration. Okay, yeah, so let's not do that. Let's put them actually in a way where they are not... ...making the animals run away. And, uh... How, how did I put this rod? Like this. Okay. Uh, what would be the next thing? Actually, let's look what we have on options, right? I just clicked this because that seemed like the, the, the logical thing to start with. Because these two will give us food, and these will give us materials to build more shit. Mining, stone cutter, mine pit. Yeah, I think I'll carry out about that later. Run on here, because collect stone district goods using the pantry. Let me set up stores on the marketplace to distribute stored goods to Borussia's plots. Okay, storehouse. Yeah, that's something we want to have in the future. I'm relatively certain. Because the game explained to us that uh, if we leave uh, stuff like, you know, this outside, it's gonna get wet and it's not good. Game has said so. Residential. Okay, well, pretty obvious. Uh, marketplace. Uh, set up uh, 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 Okay, yeah, that sounds useful as well. Church, of course. A corpse pit. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's great. Um... Yeah, that's families, farming of course, uh, we should probably invest into some good old fashioned farming in some time. So if this is for that, this is for that, then yeah, there's going to be mining here and probably some farms down here or something. I will think about this at a later date honestly, because I don't think we will be able to do it right now. It's just for animals, for farmhouse, yeah, we can probably let the people start doing something. New message. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards the regions owned by your opponents. Once the claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. I unite these lands under my rule. I have a distinct feeling we will not, but that's manor for another day. I even want to iron slabs. And I make my own weapons, I wouldn't know. Petals, barley to mold. Make, you know, beer and shit. Ah, uh, workers use hide to cruise leather. Yeah, that sounds good because uh, we have a hunter's lodge, so we'll get some hides. I mean, berries into desert. Trading post. Okay, trading. Yeah, trading does sound useful. Can I actually. Yeah, yeah, game. Cheap goods for import. Whip. <laughs> good value to export. Whip. Okay, <laughs> you can see that this game is maybe not as uh, completely finished as uh, we would like that to be. And what's the most pressing thing? Homelessness. Um, okay, so where are we gonna start building homes for our people? Well, I guess we're just gonna start like this. Make a nice little road so that, you know. Something to organize, and then uh, residential. Hmm. Okay, I need to make this with four points of planting. Okay, so if I go like this, like this, I go like okay, it's not as straight as I would like it. It's relatively straight. Okay, then he tells me how much that costs. I'm assuming he's already counting down the um, the um, 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 materials. That. Uh, plus some more. Does that mean I can build two? Potentially, is, this, is, is that some sort of upgrade where it's like, okay, if you build like this, you can build another one on it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That actually would five. So, we need ten timber to do this. Can I do it? Okay, can I leave this open? No, of course not. <laughs> okay. I was about to say, would, would have been nice if we could have just left that open. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I need to... Ah, that's that, right? Yeah, unassigned people, assigned people. So if I put someone in here... Yeah. Okay. Until the population... 
Her drops to this number of workers will stop hunting. There are 20 animals here, they hunt until there's half of them. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. I mean, I don't really know how the repopulation mechanics are in this game, so how much animals uh, can I hunt before they, uh, you know, don't have enough to come back, basically. Yeah. I think, um... Hmm. Yeah, I think in order of business, we'll, we'll, we'll start with, uh, you know, wood and some food and uh, probably a, a granary or something. Uh, one, two, three, four... I don't have enough people, do I? Okay, I have five families, and that cor yeah, that corresponds to so one family is counted as one worker, basically. Game, okay, I was just mentioning that. Thank you. I, I have not forgotten what you told me five seconds ago. But thanks anyway. Uh, <clears throat> um, how, am I, how am I supposed to be doing this with five families? I mean, I guess I I can. Switch them out once in a while, uh, you know, tell, tell them to stop hunting once they are down or something. That seems like a lot of micromanagement though. Doesn't seem practical if you uh, catch my meaning. Hmm. Oh well, practicality aside, we we'll just have to keep an eye on this and let it, uh, let it run, I guess. Yeah, because, uh, that's three plus two hunting. That's whole five families. Meaning at this point, um, everyone has a job, which is nice. But uh, you can't really grow without any more labor <laughs> available, can you now? How do I get more people to move in? No population grows. Ah, as well as more. Okay, so right now they're unhappy because they're homeless. Okay, fair, fair enough, game. Yeah, fair enough. I'd probably be unhappy too. Uh, <laughs> Back. I require silver for my endeavors. Your time has come. Class surprise war. Congratulations, work in progress. Yeah, there's still a lot. Uh, <clears throat> you have no rightful claim to Shelbert and Hofstetten. Uh, I don't want to piss them off just yet, though. <laughs> Honestly, it seems like a pretty bad idea, doesn't it? I have no army. I have five, five fucking five families that are homeless at the moment. I don't think we had a state to declare war. For some <laughs> mystical reason. Yeah. Well, uh. I finished my thought. Uh, but I started also nicely. Yeah, it's 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 pretty obvious that this is an early access title, but um, I mean, so far it's, it, it has not done anything egregious mechanical-wise. Where I would be like, holy shit, how even could you think this was a good idea? Well, it seems to be the same. Is that? Is it not? Oh, that's cute. Let's try that. Oh, look, look at that. Okay, that's, that's something that was also in Anno titles, and that is kinda cute. Okay, how do I get out of... Ah, okay, just escape. <laughs> I was about to say. <clears throat> because that's something you can do in uh, Anno games too. You can actually view your city from the uh, point of view of one of your little shittish ranch. Okay. Underground water. Oh yeah, that's... Actually, it's a good idea. Uh, we'll build some houses here. Build a little well here. Different fertility. <laughs> Barley, rye. Yeah, my territory is really not great. Uh, where's Barley? Oh, there, there's Barley. I don't want to take that. Because now. I would like to start making beer. There's also a stone deposit, an iron deposit, a clay deposit. Yeah, okay, so the first goal is to uh, get that shit going, yes. <clears throat> but more than this is actually, um, I guess, get the, the basic buildings going so we can actually get things going. 
here. You don't even have goods. I guess building is just going to be a simple combination of goods uh, that I needed to build it and um, labor. Yes, that was the word I was looking for. Number of months before supplies went out. Three months, no consumption for fuel. Yeah, <laughs> nobody's allowed to consume fuel. I wonder why. Maybe because nobody has a home that they would actually keep warm. And so we don't have any industry. Uh, supplies. We've got some bread, some fire, what? Okay, so we do have some basics sitting around here. And some timber. That we're using to build the basics. Then we'll have to do our own. Can you request more market area for this stall? A market area, okay. I'm pretty sure I saw something like this somewhere. Market, 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 market. Cheer. Cheer. Henry stores, spec station, kitchen post. Ah, marketplace. This is blind demand ratio of goods as needed to prefer. Blah, blah, blah. Perhaps we can set up the stores and distribute the products to the bourgeois plots. Yeah, that sounds nice, but we don't actually have any any bourgeois plots, so <laughs> what's the point of doing this now? Does it cost me anything? No, so it's actually free. So I'm basically just randomly deciding this area for market. Sounds fair enough. But yeah, um, we have five families. Okay, so first we build five little homes here. We build a little bit there. Um, maybe give them a little market space there. Yeah, they are actually heights, which means um, a smell of thing in this world. I will not. Ah, oh no, 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 it is not yet, but uh, <coughs> now my thought uh, process here was like if I build a tannery and um, well, you know, if you've lived under a very large rock that has a uh, danger to not inform you of this particular fact, a tannery smells like um. Not like a flower field, let's just say. Yes, excuse me for a second while I need to uh, blow my pudding nose. Ah, sometimes I tell you. In a few days, actually. I try to deal with this nonsense. <laughs> For the moment, everything's nice and peaceful, and nothing horribly goes wrong. Well, apart from the fact that the approval rating goes down, which is kind of understandable. People are like, all we want is some homes, and food, and clothing, and everything else. Bastards, I tell ya. <sighs> Ugh. Too sweet. I really shouldn't just buy stuff like that just because it's discounted. I won't have it that hard. Okay, this is uh it taking a while. Twelve well, times speed. Okay. Come on, Come on. Look, it's getting dark. Our people they gotta freeze because well uh, I mean no they're not they have tents. I don't really know whether people think they have any right to complain about homelessness. They live in tents. That's something, isn't it? Okay, so these are almost under town. So basically, I can free up that family of hunters and uh, have them help with other things, basically. Okay, two out of two. Zero out of two. One out of one. So at least the woodcutters to create fuel and the loggers to create timber should be, as soon as the labor is done, be good and proper. Okay, so now you hunted all you can hunt, so I'm gonna stop sending me, you know. I think the only reason why I would keep somebody there is if um, I'm going to keep the market whole, because it sounded like they want to make their own stall thing. Yeah, we also need a granary and shit. Mm. 
digging our storehouses and stuff like here, along the, the well, what is essentially the main road for us. I really would like it if my people could stop being lazy little assholes and actually start uh, building things. Especially like this. Let's go like high priority. Please build this. I can be medium. Also, this is also a high priority because, well, as they will come. Uh, 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 sir, 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 we understand you. Please don't whip us any longer now. Back on now, you remember how to build buildings, eh? Fucking nice of you to finally get fucking done with it. Took you half of an eternity. And without any more timber, we are, um, surprisingly unable to do something. Okay, yeah, we're gonna assign one person to this. I don't know how much that is going to be in actual timber that comes out of there, but we'll just uh, we'll go for it, we'll go for it. See how it works. Fruits and bear tricks are uh, not planting. Uh, limit clear work area. Oh, unlimited work area. Plant as many trees as you can because we don't fucking need them. <laughs> and then you're gonna start creating a locus. Well, timber. You're going to. I want you done with this. Start. Okay. Actually, I just want to start creating more locks because I really would like to build some homes. Okay, you are finished as well. Put the person in there. And we have two families left on the side. My one is going to work at the foragers' hut. I guess one is going to be without work for the moment. Well, okay, that's actually a good idea because apparently the unassigned ones do the construction work. Including guiding extra transport timber. Yeah, that, that sounds... Uh, we want to have somebody around to do that. Would be a bit difficult otherwise. There's a message for me. I'll, uh, I'll take a look in a bit. It seems to be relaxed enough that we are probably not gonna be uh, too pressured. Okay, I've did my left. Mm. How much was the cost for it? How did I set this up? Like this, and this, and I turned it because that determines where the Point is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4. Okay, so I get 3 with the little extra, whatever that little extra is. I kind of would like to find out what it is. We have found a fountain in my family's historical ship. Hmm. Actually, speaking of the strategy, also, you know, first things first, welcome. Mm. The check boy had it, and I was like, okay, that sounds interesting. Uh, Oh, I'll give it. I, I want to give it a go. Do you plan on playing it? And he was like, no. I was like, okay, let me do it. I 
So I was like, yeah, uh, this is going to be the project we will be, we'll be going for today. For a bit. Basically, the idea is we'll play this, uh, see how it goes, and, you know, and if we grow tired or if, uh, you know, things don't work out as we want them to, because, well, uh, it is uh, an early access title. We we'll later on switch over to uh, S3 or something. <laughs> Nah, for the moment I'll try to see how I fare myself uh, alone. It's half the fun, you know. Instead of going through the long-winded uh, ways of tutorials, I'll just uh, <laughs> I'll just play and see how it goes. Hmm, it is April. Hmm. I wanna... On one hand, I kind of would like to start farming and shit because farming is actually one of the main fear sources of food. You know, reliable food. That's a fucking I think the population <coughs> of animals that go down are foraging for fucking berries because that's also something you can only do really in uh, warmer seasons. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I'm sure the people will uh, survive. Yes, but I mean, you know, you can't just go like, oh look, it's medieval, and then go like, there's no farms. That would be bloody stupid. That wouldn't look right. I, w I want some nice big fields full of whatever the fuck we can grow. Wheat. A standard. Ah, fucking wheat. Honestly, you know, if it's a, a normal climate with not Scandinavian winters, I would like potatoes. Potatoes are just superior options when it comes to food stocks. You can put them into storage for long times and shit. I'm assuming you meant crop rotation. Ah, crop rotation is sensible. Oh, well, fuck you too. Potatoes are awesome. Potatoes are a vastly superior option towards wheat. Potatoes are just that much better. The yield you can get out of potatoes is far higher than you can get out of wheat. You can harvest them multiple times a year and you can store them in the right conditions for fucking year. Solves all the fucking hunger problems in the uh, fucking... Watch out. Actually, that's a good question. When precisely did potatoes arrive when it became popular? Um, Not in the early medieval times, I think. Actually, can I tap out of this game? Yes, I can, because it's a fucking borderless window thing. Um, Spread of the potatoes... Uh, in Europe. <laughs> These words across present fields in Northern Europe. <coughs> and in all countries in 1650. See? It's not early Middle Ages, but uh, they did arrive in the Middle Ages. People were like, yes! Fucking potatoes, man! Thus we can now prove that potatoes have been around by the year 1650. A time to change it. Actually, yeah, it is. <laughs> Middle, Ages, Middle Ages over this time. Fucking hell. For some reason my brain went like, ah, that's like 1200, isn't it? No, it's not, kid brain. Excuse me. The whole reason why I'm a bit late today, actually, is the simple reason I was like, okay. I was feeling a bit tired, so I was like, let's set three alarms and just go to sleep for a bit. You now, like half an hour. Granted, just three hours, of course. But my brain is still not... Uh, in complete work mode. Excuse me for being uh, somewhat uh, more absent minded than normal. Okay, so do I have I have eight timber? I don't want five houses, right? Yes, yes. Uh, bu -bu 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 uh, no matter how you look at this, this will never be completely straight, is it? I'll return this, return this, return this. Yeah, that would take 40 minutes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's required. Actually, that's not a bad idea, mind you. If we build, like, uh, a few extra houses, we might actually get some, some people to come in at some point. <laughs> okay, so we need 14 timber. I mean, we don't really have anything else to do, so let's just zap ahead. But we also do need to build some, uh, some storage houses for things. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like this though. This is a bit, uh, bit of an artistic little detail. Like, okay, yes, your uh, your goods will get damaged by weather. I mean, they should be if you leave them outside. But I think with the tech boy looked at this and went like, yeah, this could be fun. Seems to appeal to uh, its sensibilities in that regard. I mean, you know, I'm not opposed to some autistic details here and there myself. To be fair, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Build it. Bam. You know, the problem is it needs to actually be built. So, while this is going on... Okay, next we're gonna build a well, and that's the mark. I really don't understand how this whole marketplace is supposed to be, but for the moment let's start with a small one area for that. Uh, it's a bit more stretchy, like this. And like this. I don't really know how big the the, the the stalls or whatever the fuck they were called are gonna be, so let's start careful and if there is not enough space we we do just get it away and put it as far and wide as the fucking houses. This seems to be enough, we're just gonna build a fucking well there and be done with it. Basically. Also I've seen as a tavern. We should immediately start producing beer. Or alternatively, import beer. Because there is also trade. It's all trade. Yes. Very very important. And what else? Yeah, all right, storage. That is also something. Um, just two timber. I do kind of like that they're showing I have a 14 timber. Well, you know, uh, I can't build this. Can make barley. Yes. I will either make barley or buy barley and uh, create massive amounts of beer so that the people can get drunk enough that they forget they're freezing. And COVID, whatever else. But yeah, I think storehouses and clinic. Um, how do they work actually? Let's just put a granary down. Will the people just automatically bring the stuff from here to the granary, or do, 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 does the granary need workers as well? Uh, but right now, I just don't have enough workers. That's really going to be the, the the bottleneck for my for my workload. Hmm, I also seem to be going through quite quite a few trees actually. Hmm, if I assign you, I'm just, just gonna try this out. Um, where was it? Advanced, unlimited work area. Can I? Yes, I can. Okay, so if I go here and go like, <coughs> just um, fill those trees because the other one also needs trees. This one. Come and grab a farmer. Step two: make crop field not too big, not too small. Yeah, my problem right now is actually, <clears throat> I don't think I'll be doing it this particular year, because A, we have already May, and by the time I've set this up, it's going to take fucking forever. I have a forester, what do you want? Yeah, look, it's a little forester. He, he's doing things. Look, growing little trees. But you don't know how long it takes to actually grow trees, right? They're not going to be harvestable for a while. And my problem is, honestly, I have too little in the way of people. I need more people so that more work can get done. What the fuck do you expect me to tend to a field if I have nobody to tend the field? You know, other things. My next planned step is to get a granary and a storehouse. Because uh, my, my, my foodstuffs and stuff seem to be uh, suffering. Yeah, see, they're, they're plant strategies. They're plants. They're not yet ready, though. Um... Yeah, a granary next to the marketplace. That seems reasonable. Then we'll build a storehouse also next to that. Then we'll find out if these work automatically or if they also need people working them. Because if they need people, I don't have people. But yeah, um, high priority, high priority, high priority. We'll uh, out of a job. Um, one person is not assigned. So yeah, you're actually right. Can I, for this game, change it over? Give me a second while I try this out. Um, if I take myself, I put myself over my own in-game face. Yeah, there, see, now you can see it. And I a nice person. Uh, let's see, uh, hi, hi, hi. How do you care about anything else but build me some houses, please? Oh, look, it's actually counting. That's neat. 
It actually tells me um, that uh, I have well, zero living spaces, hey. But it also tells me that uh, plus seven I'm the making. That's actually good. Now, uh, how do I stop you from being a little bitch about it? Like this. Oh, what about that? I mean, I do like a nice relaxed start, you know. And I think by the time the next year rolls around, as long as my people don't a freeze or starve in the winter, I think we'll be good. Now the animals are recovering, so sometimes we might also want to assign a hunter again. I don't want to overhunt, mind you. Okay, yeah. We have food for six months at the moment, and well, no fuel consumption because nothing actually uses fuel. <laughs> we have a little. Yeah, that's really small. I mean, I kind of like it, but it's really small. Maybe I was a bit too generous with the marketplace. Oh well. I mean, I don't know how many uh, goods are there in total, so I guess I can just let that sit. Unassigned. Flattening ground. Why do you tell me I can... Is there anything else I can do with you? Probably not. He's just gonna go and uh, flatten some ground. To jam. I also saw that we can build a corpse pit. I think this is also something we should probably um, think about. Although I do wonder if the... Um, that's actually something to look up, isn't it? Also, excuse me when I... Jesus Christ. My nose feels kind of strange. Uh, what was I about to... Oh yeah, right. Um, church. Why it's hallowed ground for burial for the dead villagers? Yeah. Okay, so you can either go for, um, you know, a corpse pit for all of the people you don't like. Actually, is that, uh, blah, blah, you get rid of anyway. Yeah, actually, it is precisely that. So basically, you know, you build the church with the priests and all of the um, stuff that comes in. And they go like, oh, no, 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 you are dead now here. Here is a hollowed ground. Now go in there. And for everybody else that you don't like, you just you just build a acne pit. <laughs> Let's throw them in there. <laughs> That's literally a little mask, right? Amusing, yes. Hmm. We're using lead. Hmm. You know, well, since I actually played some uh, city builders, especially one set in the medieval ages. I mean, there was that one uh, small game that I played for a while. What was it called? Vanished, I think. I also had uh, as one of the greatest threats uh, uh, available to you, uh, harsh climate, basically. Oh, I lost so many villages to. Uh, the winter. So, yeah, let's say it like we're gonna um, make this a bit faster again because we can't always use a um, place to just pause and give it a bit of time for them to actually build the fucking houses. Then, as usual, we'll do the good old fashioned learning but Honestly, I don't really need that much more manpower, but if we could get. Let's say five. As to what we started, let's say we double our population to 10. If we can get that done, that would be ideal. And we're building 7 houses, so let's plan for 3 more houses. How much space that is gonna take, and not that much actually. If we turn this. I do like this though, this uh, where do you want your houses to be kind of thing. I do like that. It looks a bit big. I kind of want to make it a bit smaller. This, this, up, up. Okay, now it's only two desks. Eh, I don't like it. Um, turn, turn, turn. Okay, that's gonna. Let's just make it a bit faster and collect a bit more resources so we can actually get it. I do want to double my population because then we actually have some options available to us. For example, we can once again assign a hunter. But honestly, I think just with the. Actually, how does this work growing? There's somebody working that one, yeah. Yeah, it does, it does seem like they're not actually capable of actually collecting enough berries to um, make a dent there, so that's good. Jesus Christ knows, that's wrong. 
Nose feels stuffy, but it's, it's not actually that stuffy, so it's kind of kind of strange. Itching post. Oh yeah, that's actually a good question. Can I? Yes, I can fucking relocate you. That's that's awesome, actually. Okay, so that's uh, was that the granary? Yeah. I don't want to have that there. I think that's uh, that's reasonable. Hmm. And that is the granary, that is that, so we also need the logistics, a storehouse. Yeah, at this point I've given them so much work to do. Do you have high... Very high, yeah. Start building houses, please. Little peasants, everybody's like, sir, we have so much work to do, we don't know where to start. I wasn't asking, bitch. I really wasn't asking. Build faster, bitch. Build faster. Hmm? Now they're building. Oh, look. A little fundament in the ground. Good old fashioned wooden. I'm sure you don't want to finish at least a bit more of the wall. Funny boy. He's like, no, man. It's all cool. So let's see here. That's, so that's the Burgish plot. Now we're just not calling it houses. Um, okay, that would generate wealth. I don't know what I'm gonna do with wealth because so far I don't have seen anything that costs money. Backyard extension. Ah, I see. I see. that's 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 cool. Okay, and that also costs ah that also costs money. I see. So there's a good reason for us to get money. This is awesome. So like I can actually make them uh, grow vegetables and shit in the backyard. Chicken coop, goat shed even, Jesus fucking Christ, that's awesome. Fucking love it. Really do fucking love it. This is cute. This is really cute. I like it. Okay, so... <laughs> you want water access, you want church, you want fuel, food, and closing. Okay. Oh, this is, this is cute. Autistically cute, mind you, because... Um, not just this, but... Hmm. Hmm. So depending on how stable we get <coughs> our food situation, um, we can actually use that to create other things like heights. That's okay, so we do need a well. Ah, right, right. We need to actually place that where there's water. So these are ten homes. Okay, so if I set a well up here. First, the well has some sort of influence area around it. Tell me how much uh, will people just come from everywhere and collect that. Hope so. Yeah, I think for the moment we're just gonna speed this up a little bit and let them build homes, at least until we have uh, E5 required to keep our families safe and all the exposed goods. We would like to move them, but. I literally don't know how. I have to say, though, this is really kind of cute, honestly. Satisfying. It's always satisfying when you uh, play a uh, you know, game of a build, build, build city, build village, and you know you start with nothing, and at some point you actually have some houses. I might have just crashed up the claiming new territory. Oh, well, I mean, it is an early access game, and you know, normally I'm not a fan of those, so. Apart from the fact that I couldn't buy it because I have no money, um, I wouldn't buy it because early access is really not my my, my cup of tea. I don't like. To, I mean, it's 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 not a full price game as any you now. They're not asking seventy bucks for early access, so that's cute. But still, uh, I'd probably have waited. But hey, it's already available. The tech boy doesn't want to play it. But you know, at, at least from my my first initial impression of this game, yeah, I do think this actually would have uh, or has quite a bit of potential. I have, at least as far as the, the city building aspect goes, it's simple enough so far. Um, there wasn't anything that stumped me all right. Like and I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Of course, you know that the the finer mechanics are going to be interesting to uh, take a look at, but that's neither here nor there. 
But I do like that they have little details, like, you know, that I can actually tell them to build a fucking thing there. Woodcutter's Lodge, yeah, yeah. Those kind of thing in here are probably gonna be... Ah, uh, full. And again, I'm not gonna stop woodcutting. We've got all, we're in fucking August. Winter is coming at some point. I wouldn't be fucking happy if my people until then actually managed to get into their fucking uh, houses. Yeah, the fifth house is gonna get built. Once that is built... My people might not starve. Hmm. It's also going to be interesting to see how the, uh, the military part works. It's going to be interesting. Oh, it's interesting. Won't finish the house. Do it. And then we're going to put the other houses under... Hmm. Okay, that's far away from me though. Let me look at that. That's down there and I'm up here, aren't I? Oh, bless. Yeah, there you are. And I don't think I need to be too worried about the bandits. They seem to be far away. Hopefully that's how this works. And what was I saying? Oh, yeah, right. We're gonna... One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna put this on no. 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 Low. Get low. And low. So basically all of my families are protected and uh, everything else gets built first, like the well for example, so they actually get some drinking water. Hmm. Wonder if water is also required for um, dying clothes and stuff. But technically speaking you should need a lot of water. Running water. <laughs> and lo and behold, so far nobody has actually died. I'm uh, somewhat happy with that. Settlement level increased. Hopelessness. <laughs> hmm. Ah. They do like the fact that we can just, you know, zap in there like it we can in Anno. Actually, you know, the, playing this kind of does remind me a bit of Anno. Just from the general feeling, mind you, not from the mechanics or anything. From the very general feeling. Okay, so now... Oh, now I can actually choose one of this. Orchidry. Oh, an apple orchid. Nice. Sheep breeding. Awesome. I mean, I don't know why I need to develop sheep breeding. I'm pretty sure animals know how to breed on their own. <laughs> but a nice touch, isn't it? Um, Brown suppliers. Um, permanent market store, which provides a passive income of firewood. Oh, it's enough region of wealth. Okay, interesting. The hood card. Right logistics. Mm-hmm. Beekeeping. Interesting. More berry deposits. Passive income of meat. But there's so many good choices here that I kind of would like to, to start with. Um, only seems really useful, especially as a trade good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna go down the the the, the farming road uh, road to success. Here's a handy now. An apple orchid. That sounds pretty cute. Wax. Names employing auction at a farmhouse. That's awesome. That, that really is very medieval. Realizing that you can actually use an ox to till your fields is actually pretty damn smart. Uh, now nowadays it's pretty obvious, but back then, oh Jesus. If you want to go farming, go for orchid first, then go for rye. Oh, you want me to 
So for the Orc Hatry first, then for Rai, is, 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 where, where is Rai? Rai cultivation. And Rai comes for fields, similar to wheat, Rai can process before. Yeah, I know. Wheat and Rai can both be processed before. Sounds reasonable. Irrigation, of course. Mm, the amount of damage caused by droughts. Fertilization. Nice. Bakeries. Bakery extension. I'm kind of two minds here, strategy. On one hand, you know, since we do have um, hunters and gatherers going down this route, and it seems, seems an option, but uh, Norcat also provides good food in, in the long run, mind you. It's, it's not something you get immediately. Do you know what? I'll do it. I'll go for Orcris. Or build one. Where even is that other farming, I'm assuming? Um, house, pasture, sheep, farm, windmill, communal oven. Okay, where, where's now? But it's, it's, is it just a field that I'm then selling? Or is it here? Is the hut? Um, hunting. Administration. That doesn't make any sense. Trading post. I do want a trading post in the future. Um. So is it just the field? No, oh, it immediately shows me the head. Uh, so you do not need a bakery. And it's just faster bread making. But two ovens have the same speed. You recap at two ovens. Hmm. There's some difference on the field. Okay, uh, so we once again back to the problem. We do need more workers before we. Continue doing. Okay, so the first year we're going to just spend building up the basics. <laughs> Hopefully not snap in the winter. Uh, some starting nations have better fuel crops for other fields. Okay, so... It still doesn't really explain to me... I'm just gonna assume... <coughs> for the moment that... Um, if I set up a field, uh, we're just gonna try that. So, um, the dam, 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 dam. So, like, field here. Top type. Okay, so I get a crop rotation. Oh, that's a three year crop rotation. Nice. <clears throat> okay, but I don't. Uh... Yes. We need to get more favor. Yeah, the homelessness has really uh, held the people back. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, but it should start improving at some point because it, at least now the people are not any longer fucking homeless. At least it shouldn't go down any longer. And this, I think if I actually give them what they want, like water and food, probably gonna be happy. Make a town center. Uh, is that under administration? Mana, settlers camp. Claim territory in order to settle it. Claim territory, I don't think that is it. Uh, mm hmm. Barrier, weaver, tannery, mold house, missing. Just the company here. Hospital, wooden church, tavern, wood cart, firewood cart. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, there are the houses, there's the well, obviously, there's the marketplace, firewood, food cart, heaven, wooden church, corpse pit. Yeah, it's the town center. You're lying to me. There, see, I already have a marketplace. There are even little stalls on it. Well, I mean, yes, you could say that the marketplace is indeed the center of town. After all, it is the place where people will spend a lot of time. Okay, so this and this. Indeed, we shall wait. But honestly, you know, it's, it's not not a bad thing. As I said, you know, the first year is probably going to be an interesting one. But at least everything else seems to be working. And my little foster. I mean, to be fair, you know, you do need to be patient and wait things up. Actually, I do wonder if there, if I want to do any of that, like, no. 
Then you need to grow vegetables and shit. Eggs. Eggs seem like food. Oh, ah, very, very good for food. Oh, that's where the apple orchard is. Apples. Trees are fully grown, which takes about three years. Only a fraction of the yield. Mm, I really want to do this though. It's gonna cost me all my money though. Not good. Gonna to increase your favor in the long run. Yeah, I was about to say. No, but the first house in this particular uh, main street is gonna get a fucking level or cut. Ah, this is this is cute. I like it. That is something I can get behind easily enough. Okay, and then we'll forward again and let the people do a bit of work. At least nobody's homeless any longer. And Sean will have a granary and shit. It's just a matter of time. Then we search for. Yeah, the woodcutter again. Honestly, I, I don't care too much about that. That led the woodcutter. Have a full storage. Seems better than the alternative, honestly. Two. Two. And then the next goal is that we'll try to double our population. <clears throat> because right now we have uh, five families and I want to get ten families. Mm, maybe, maybe. Hmm. Actually, depending on how this... Um, how this progresses in the future, I might actually save up the money and buy it for myself. Because this actually seems to have some potential for a nice relaxed game that we can just shove in sometimes and play a little bit. So far at least. You yeah, know, I'm kinda... Kinda thinking this might be a wise investment in the future. To be fair, I haven't yet played enough to actually come to any um, greater conclusion. It, it's, it's, it's a clear, clear as day this is, uh, as it says, and you see the access. Come on, people, finish it. You're almost done. Oh, the, the well was finished. Nice. Okay, so now, yeah, see, now the people are like, look at that. What the fuck? How did you assholes manage to get in? Bitches, you're all the way down there. Fucking <laughs> assholes. There's two lights from me. Bloody fucking assholes. <laughs> I don't know where this amuses me, so I'm like, ah, that's, that, that's something. Fucking gun store. Ah, shit, I kind of feared that. So the um, the storehouses and shit also need people working them, eh? Ah, that's, I mean, I kind of feared as much, but that's, that's, that's a problem. We definitely need more people. Okay, um, we'll wait until the storehouse is finished again and then we'll build a few more houses and uh, hopefully get that higher as well. Where to build there? How are you doing? Bandits. Winter's approaching. Well, obviously, I mean, uh, I wanted to... The, the, I always went for the middle option, basically. So, uh, yeah, there, there's bandits around. And another guy outside of the map, apparently, that is like... Oh, oh, oh. I'm an asshole. Don't fuck with me. And I was like, okay. I want to see what they can do. So far the bandits uh, oh, seem to be capable of just doing one little thing and that is uh, stealing shit. Which, to be fair, is not very nice. <laughs> but hey, I was kind of thinking more like they, they come over and raid me, you know, as in, you know, burn down my village and shit, but apparently so far they, they don't. Honestly, that's a few heights. Also, I saw something, where was it? There, smell, actually. That is something I'm actually looking forward to, because um, I was looking at the industry, Long militia is paramount to serve any settlement, and if weapons has just arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. You need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. And there was a tab for that, wasn't there? 
great new militia. Uh, 10 recruits, we have 20 large shields and 20 spears. So a spear militia, I suppose. Pole arm. That's a pole arm, isn't it? Yeah. Don't have any pole arms. Don't have any bows. That looks like axes. Okay, sidearms. So, a spear militia it is. Yep. Well, I don't have enough. <laughs> well, that sucks. And we don't have any money to hire mercenaries. <laughs> well, fuck me sideways. That's gonna take a bit. Um, but um, I was looking here at the tannery and I was like, yeah, we're gonna get some hides anyway because we are hunting. And then I was like, okay, I can build a tannery, but um, that, that should really not be built in the city. Tannery smells absolutely dreadful. I was like, okay, will this affect anything if I, you know, will it, will it bring the, the, the village down if I just build it, like, you know, somewhere around here? Then I looked down this list and was like, ah, smell. That's actually, as I said, you know, this, this has a few aspects where kind of like, yeah, this is kind of nice, a uh, nice amount of autism right then and there, because that is precisely how it should be. That is something I can enjoy. That is something I can look forward to and go like, yes. Okay, so, um, you've got fuel, you got... Food. They don't have clothing yet, so that would also make a, a tannery rather reasonable. Was work in progress. Yeah, yeah. I saw this. She, she I can read. Work in progress. But uh, I'm looking forward to it because that is fucking. That's cute. Um, I guess I know how to make the people happy. We're just gonna need a church for that, which requires. Yeah, those are the the things I ignored up until now. Um. Was it gathering? Yeah. It's all pit. That too requires workers though. So, uh, <laughs> how the fuck are we gonna get this, this going? Uh, I guess as soon as some of the construction work is finished, uh, I'm gonna send them hunting so that the people get more stuff. More food and shit. Isn't there a food thing? Yeah, there's a food stall there. Be happy, my people. Be happy. Also, shovel. I'm not going to again. Yeah. And I think this is what it will come down to for us because. Um, uh, how much timber do we have right now? Yeah, 51 timber. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the saw pit. Yeah, right next to the loggers camp, that seems reasonable. And then we're gonna switch the loggers around to actually sawing things so that we get the planks and then we build a church. Because I think, realistically speaking, you know, even more important than the marketplace is actually a church in the um, early medieval times. That's basically a far more important center of community than even the marketplace is. Yeah, that's all the, the bad things. Mother. I want my fucking army up so I can fucking deal with these assholes stealing my fucking berries. Actually, it's winter now. We, yeah, we can't actually do that, so you stop doing that. And instead, you go hunting because there should be. Yes. See? I was smart. Somewhere in the summer, I stopped hunting when the emails were down and was like, okay, I'm not gonna start this up again until it's winter because now, now we fucking need to hunt. We need food. Food shoveled down our throats most brutally. Oh well, that is kind of what I hope will happen. Then we build a church. Yeah, churches were actually, you know, rather important for the community. And not just because they actually um, provide, um, well, the necessary hollowed ground to lay your dead to rest in a more pleasant fashion than shoving them into a fucking uh, pit. Also because they were indeed centers of um, community. Build faster people. Because we do need, I guess as soon as it gets a bit warmer we can collect berries again. Things will be somewhat looking up for my peer, the poor little peoples. You know, in three years' time, we 
Let's say we keep a reserve of 15. We have 54 right now, yeah, that's not a problem. And once the construction of the last houses is done, I think we can use the last unassigned one for something as well. And then we have to unassign them again once we want to build something. Hmm. Managing a small population and its challenges. Okay, so how long will you take to make that? Oh, probably a while. Yeah, but see, that's on the larger scale. On a small scale, in a small village, nobody really cares. There's a church there, people go there regularly. You meet your neighbors, you talk with them, you meet them again at the well. And churches were most, in most places, actually the um, sturdiest buildings, or amongst the sturdiest buildings, which also means that they were pretty nice places to hide out when shit hit the fan. But you know, made them rather important as refugees as well. But all, you know. Yeah. yeah, market food variety. Fuck that, we get market food variety. Screw you people. Get happy now. Yeah. At the end of the day, a small village. This is a small village. I mean, we, we got five fucking families here. Yeah? Actually, that's so small that a uh, church is actually a bit overkill, but it will help us along. I believe. I believe in the power of the church. At least in the okay, medieval times. In modern days, not so much, mind you. Yeah, we also need weapons. I think the next big project is gonna be um, uh, fields, so that we can actually start creating some 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 more food stuff to make the people more happy. And um, after that, we're probably gonna look into trade. Yeah, Christian faith spreads like a very nasty disease, <laughs> in the matter of speaking. <laughs> sort of. I really want my army up, yeah. I think we're gonna... Um, actually, I think trading... It kind of depends what we can uh, sell and buy. Because if we can... I know, then what if you... We need more people. That, that's kind of what I come down to once more. So I guess we'll focus on that. Still have some hopes for the church. Okay, that's a lot closer. Hey, they're getting closer to me. You really need an army up. I need an army. Well, you know, it's not really an army, it's a militia force. Because the Middle Ages... Um... Oh, shit. Oh, here are some people. Oh, we're mercenaries. Where are they going? If they go like this, at least they're not going to my territory. Uh, I'm gonna kind of ignore them and hope that they're not coming for me, because let's be honest here, yeah, I have no way to fight back at the moment. <laughs> I'm quite literally defenseless. Ah, we need weapons and shields more. We, we fucking need more. We, we need everything more. And technically speaking, we needed that yesterday. Okay, well, this is almost done. So then we have 10 plots of lands. Nice little row. And then the question is, do we want to go for fields first or do we want to go for trading first? Honestly, I'm of two minds on the trade. Because it kind of depends on um, what we can trade and what not. As in also what we can um, not just buy but also sell. I mean, if I can sell some of the logs I have, that, that would be cute. Hmm. <sighs> How does it look? Do we have any planks yet? No, why don't we have any planks yet? Where, where, where's my camp? Oh yeah, here. You're getting overrun by trees. Aren't you producing things? And if you as soon as that is finished, I can also put him to logging again. Uh, the animals are done and over with, I suppose. 
Why does it look with the berries? The berries are full, so we go like this and like this. And then we wait for this to be finished. I was about to say, my road is still around, isn't it? So as soon as that plot is finished, we're gonna set them up to do some logging and hope that that will get the fucking saw pit. Are you moving through my lands? No. Moving through this land. What's your, what, what's your end goal? Going for the bandits? Hmm. I don't really know what he's doing, but uh, I'll assume that he has a good fucking reason for doing whatever the fuck it is he's doing. So we shall... Uh, Kindly ignore him. There are still supplies out there. Stone, precisely. To be fair though, stone shouldn't be too... Um, too much uh, affected by rain. <clears throat> Give me a second, I do need to uh, take a small moment.